Hey y'all, it's Wyatt here. I'm gonna give you a little update on my health. I know that there's some of y'all that care about me out there, and I thank you for that, and you deserve to know what's going on with me. So I saw my primary, my old primary care doctor on the 11th, now I've established care with a new one since, and I saw her on the 15th. On the 11th I went in, and my pulse was 173 over 112, Leaving it was um, 152 over 112. And my primary care doctor, my old primary care doctor, I had one of the worst experiences ever. She ended up prescribing me a medication that I've been previously prescribed that is like called Pregabalin. And um, I've still been taking that since. I've been feeling a little bit less pain nerve wise, which is awesome. But, um, like I said, that appointment, it just didn't go well. Um, I've been told by doctors and by my family to not see that provider because how often I go to the ER or see my other doctors. And although I try and make appointments sometimes and see her every time I've gone to her the last three times, she just tells me to go to the ER. And as I told you before about my pulse and my heart rate, yes. I definitely probably like going into a hospital she told me to go to the ER and it was probably an okay time that time to tell me to go to the ER but I didn't go to the ER due to the fact that the only reason that my heart rate was so high I don't know about my blood pressure but I'm still alive and my blood pressure when I went in on the 15th was actually normal so and heart rate but it was due to anxiety and stress being there because I have so much stress from that provider. And um, maybe I'm crazy. I've gone there with my partner. I've gone there with my mom. I feel as though she does not talk to me like I'm a person. And uh, I just don't, I don't wanna get into it. But I saw my new provider. Um, I'm gonna get this kind of test done on my neck to see a test done for thyroid to see if like that kind of thing could be causing some of my pain uh, like an ultrasound in my neck to like check around here and then some type of test they're gonna do for thyroid that, that's like the test that I'm thinking of um, and then there was one other thing I feel like she was gonna do I mean she did a blood test I'm gonna talk to her again on Wednesday she basically told me I need to see specialists, so I've already seen the neurologist, but she referred me to a different neurologist to see, which I think is a great idea. And then I am also going to, um, there is some, some other allergist she wanted to refer me to. I'm sorry about my brain skip, but and then I should be doing that as well. Update on my health though. I've been fucking trying since like April 26th, 25th, around that day. I've been trying every fucking day. Sorry to curse. I've been trying really hard. I've been doing workouts, I've been doing stretches, I've been trying to walk more, I've been getting up more. I've been really like, physically, I was like, maybe I'm not doing enough, so I'm trying to do more physically. and. For a little bit, it felt better, clarity, mentally, but physically, I'm in about the same amount of pain, not sometimes more, and my stupid left arm um, fucking hurts, to say the least. My right arm, when I wake up, it always feels a little bit better, but I always have my really bad moments throughout the day. My left arm, since I woke up, my chest just shooting sharp pain from the top of it going on two years don't want to fucking talk to anyone about that and then my hand as stupid as this freaking sounds i look down and this hand's pretty white and then i look at this hand this morning and this hand is like kind of red and puffed if you can't like can't really see too much of a difference but um it was super red and puffy and feeling of like touching my fingers just feels like fuzzy and I can't have 
right kind of feeling. And I know that sounds like I should go to the ER. I've been experiencing this for two years. I've been to neuro neurologists. I've been to an orthopedic doctor and I've told him basically the same type of stuff. And he told me, do not come here again. Like he told me that the kind of pain that I'm feeling, there's nothing that he could basically do. Orthopedic doctor, uh, I, I could be wrong about this, but the one I was going to, I'm pretty sure was supposed to be some type of muscle doctor. They told me basically don't go there anymore. I asked him, could you give me like an MRI? Because it feels like it's just so much pain and it's hard to do anything with my right arm. And they basically told me, you're not gonna be able to probably lift things. You're not gonna be able to do a job like that. Well, to that doctor, I know we'll never see this video, but it has been February since the last time I worked. And I, I think about working every day and I would love to do it. That's why I make this YouTube channel. That's why I have tons of other things on the internet that I've tried, failed, and I still do. I love you and I thank you for watching this video. I guess another update, this side of my neck and this side, it's just been hurting a lot. And that's kind of a more new pain. And then in my groin kind of area behind my leg, it's just an insane tightness. Basically anytime I try and like move my knee like upwards I would say I feel like a really sharp pain in my groin I'm still able to stretch and walking around is actually not bad on it it's just like when I'm sitting in a chair and in random times it flares up and hurts but it's not all the time like most of my scapular pain and like the pain in my left arm right now I know I sound moto, moto tuned and sad but like I said before I thank you for watching like and subscribe if you sat through and listened to this motto toned, mad, sad, sab, sob. It's five o'clock and I just woke up in pain, so. Have a good one. Hope I made you laugh, maybe.